In this video, we'll examine the historical records of glacial retreat and sea level rise over the last several hundred years in order to support the inconvenient fact that the current warming trend we're in began long before humans started adding significant amounts of that miracle molecule carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. We've documented in previous videos that our current warming trend did not begin with the rise of carbon dioxide levels in the mid-20th century, but rather some 250 years or more before that. This warming began in the late 17th century as the Earth started to climb out of the frigid temperatures of the Little Ice Age. This fact is supported by the many thousands of historical and scientific records. The warming temperatures are manifested by retreating glaciers and associated rising sea level. Sea level rise and glacial retreat go hand in hand. When water is locked up in the ice of glacial advances, sea level drops. Conversely, warming and the glacial retreat that comes from it return that water chiefly to the oceans, raising sea level. Beginning in the 13th century, temperatures began to plummet as the earth cooled and began its descent into the frigid temperatures of the Little Ice Age. Glaciers advanced in the high latitudes and sea level fell. It's estimated that as much as one-third of the area of Chamonix in France was lost to snow and ice. The coldest temperatures and greatest glacial advances were reached in the late 1600s during a period known as the Maunder Minimum. That then began more than 300 years of warming that continues today. Because the advancing glaciers had such a profound effect on the population, accurate records were kept. And this chart shows a compilation of glacial length records from 169 sites around the world. We saw that the current warming trend began in the late 17th century, but the glaciers could not begin to retreat until the atmosphere had warmed sufficiently to allow summer ice loss to exceed winter accumulations. That glacial tipping point occurred around 1800, with full-on retreat by 1820. Thus began two centuries of worldwide glacial retreat that continues today. The retreat of the glaciers of the Little Ice Age returned water chiefly to the seas, and it fueled a rise in sea level that has remained fairly constant for the last 200 years. We're being told that sea level rise and glacial retreat are the result of man-made warming owing to our use of fossil fuels. Yet, we see that both of these events began more than 100 years before we started adding significant amounts of carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. Once again, we find that natural forces are in action driving great temperature changes, just as they have since the dawn of time. 